Hey y'all, it's Nicole with Living Well Properties and I am in Mustang Lakes today to check on the Perry Homes build which has completed frame stage and it has completed the electrical and plumbing rough. So I'm going to flip this camera around and we're going to go inside and take a look. All right, man, it is really starting to look like a house, right? How exciting is this? And I love that they made this little walkway. Ooh, I don't got to get my shoes all dirty. That's awesome. Okay, three car tandem garage. So the left side goes in for an extra car, which is more or less, I think it's more of a space for like a golf cart or if you want to make a workshop out of it. Um, you can technically get a, a full size car in there, but it would be tight. Okay, here we go. All right, walking in, we got a two story entryway and then the landing up top here is gonna have an open banister um, with the balusters, the wrought iron balusters. To the right, we have double doors going into an office. So if you look up, um, we are not able to do our pre-drywall walk because this is an inventory home and there's a lot of out-of-state buyers. So if they're not able to be here in person, we can't actually come through and walk. Um, so this video is going to kind of help be that for my lovely clients. So uh, what we're looking at are four can lights up in the ceiling. Those are actually going to be LED lights. Uh, they will last for a long time. They're actually much better than the old can lights that you had to put the fluorescent bulbs in that burn out, I swear, like every month. It's ridiculous. Okay, then we have outlets on every wall. Actually, they're every six feet by code, every six feet. It looks like they put an extra outlet on this wall. So my clients were not able to customize anything in here because it was an inventory home, but Perry went through and did some extras. Um, one of those is, is actually for um, computer. So it'll be your uh, USB and HDMI and all that stuff. And then we have another plug there, another plug down there, the little blue boxes. The blue boxes higher up are your light switches. So there's that's where you will access the lights for here. And this is not wired, I'm looking straight up. So we only have those four lights up here. So sometimes there's one in the middle and they, they will have um, ability for you to like put a fan in or something, but it's not wired for that. And real quick as we come in, this little box here is your entryway lighting, front porch lighting, um, hallway lights here. So very cool. Okay, coming further in, we've got an electrical outlet right here. And then we also have one behind me on this wall. And then this is all plumbing that's going upstairs, the black encased piping. Uh, coming in from the garage, you'll have an outlet and a light switch. Let me come in here real quick and look too. So you've got one light in the middle, that's the blue circle. And then these blue boxes, those are for your garage door openers. Um, over here will be where your, um, your uh, I can't think it's your um, sprinkler system sorry your rainbird system will be put in over here and there'll be a switch for that your electrical panel for all of your fuses and whatnot will be right here um, your water tankless water heater is in the back here this is the tandem part of the garage your yeah that's where your tankless water heater will go you'll have another plug right there straight ahead um, yeah, all right, so I'm not seeing, oh, it looks like there's one other plug, one outlet right there, the gray one, and here's a little storage space here. That's pretty cool. Awesome. All right, going back inside. Oh, I missed an outlet. Sorry. There's one right in the front corner there, and then across, those are your sensors for your garage door. Okay, so back inside. All right, so we saw the office. As we continue in, we've got the stairway and a formal dining to our left. Off to the right, we have the laundry room and a bathroom. So right in here, you've got, um, there will be a sink and a toilet. Um, 
Yeah, there's not a shower in there, I don't believe. Okay, here is your laundry room. You've got an outlet straight ahead. All the plumbing is in for your washer, which is on the left side. The dryer is that big white opening on the bottom there. That's your vent pipe, which is vented outside. Um, and then there's the, the outlets on the wall for them to be plugged into. And as we turn around here, you'll have a light switch and an outlet on the wall, it looks like. You have an outlet in this hallway right there. Um, in the bathroom, you'll have one right next to the vanity. So that's good. And that's all the outlets. Your light switches are gonna be right there as you come in. Um, this is just a coat closet right here. And then this will be a light switch going up for the um, stairway. All right, we have outlets down here. There's another light switch. In the dining room, you've got two switches. Remember, or I'm sorry, three. There's a blue down on right there, there, and then over there. Remember, every six feet you should see boxes for electrical outlets. Um, it will be, I don't know if this one's wired for a fan or not. I'm going to have to ask. Uh, a lot of times it, they do wire for a fan, but they don't provide the fan. So we can find that out. There's another outlet, more light switches. As we come in, we've got an open um, living room, kitchen, eat-in, kitchen, and then it's all open to the dining room too. So this is a really beautiful space. And then that's all gonna be walls, but directly above me here, this is all open railing. This is all open to the game room upstairs. It's gonna be so pretty. I cannot wait to see when that's installed. Um, looking directly up, you see there are lights that are gonna go all the way down the foyer. Um, okay, so in the family room, you've got, remember every six feet, plugs, there are two, here ideally this is probably where you're going to hang your tv so they've given you an extra outlet it looks like for um, a usb or hdmi so you can uh, stream if you want to stream your 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 tv stuff that's pretty cool and then your fireplace all of the duct work is in for that looks really really good all right, kitchen. So you have three switches on the wall here. One will be to your patio. One will be to this dining space here. And the other, um, my guess is it's probably gonna go to this kitchen. But when we do our orientation walk before you guys close, they will go over everything. So in the middle here in your island, you'll have a sink and a dishwasher. Um, let's see here, Let me figure out where everything is going. It looks like, all right, it says your oven is going. Okay, it looks like your oven is gonna go on this wall here. Is it double ovens? I'll have to look at the plans. Um, and then your cooktop, your range, that's the vent hood for the exhaust fan for that. So once they put it in, it, it uh, goes to the outside. So a lot of times in the older homes, they, they went into the attic, but your refrigerator will go here. That white box towards the floor, that's gonna be your water line for your refrigerator. And of course, there's outlets there for them to be able to plug it in. You have the pantry. All these blue boxes along where the island will be, um, those are all for you guys to be able to use countertop. The lower ones are for your stove and um, your ovens and whatnot. Good deal. All right, let's go check out the master. Oh, real quick, sorry. You go all the way up. There is a little gray circle. It's like right there. And that is where that it is. Um, that'll be a light. And that I can 99% say that it's wired for a fan. Perry's really good about doing that. All right. Coming into the master. Awesome. So pretty, I love the bay windows. So you have got tons of electrical outlets throughout here. Lots and lots all the way around. Anywhere you see those little blue boxes. Your light switches are gonna be right as you come in. 
one will access this will also be wired for a fan um, bedrooms are definitely wired for fans uh, the master may include one they typically do they did a really nice job on picking stuff out for this though so that I do remember I just don't remember the exact fixtures they chose so there are some outlets there below the windows and into the master bath you also have outlets on either side of the doorway so that's nice coming into the master bath you'll have a linen closet here you'll have let's see you have a vanity by the sink so it's separate his and her vanities that's really nice and then you have outlets for each vanity the light switches to come in here one will be a fan one will be the light for your vanities and the other will be a light for your shower so you'll have your vanity lights are up here shower light is right up there there's your shower step down shower and the other vanity plug to the left light at the top uh, that other lights which I said was gonna go that will access the shower will also access the tub okay and then we have the water closet in here and then there's a light switch inside no plugs in there that's unnecessary and uh, then we have the master closet so there are not typically plugs outlets in the master closet there's a little cubby in here um, unless specifically requested which again we could not do because this was an inventory home um, it's just not necessary but anyway there's a light switch as you come in um, and then that covers all of that we're gonna go back out and we're gonna head upstairs this is looking so good so this is gonna be all an open railing here coming up so we have let's see I did see okay there's a blue circle right there that's gonna be a light for the stairway that's nice and then you'll have a light switch at the top as well that there was one at the bottom and there's one up here that will access the light switch for that stairway there's an electrical outlet right as you come up the top we have a media room immediately to our left or flex room whatever you want to call it a true media room will not have windows but I kind of like when they add the windows because then you can it's just more flexibility you can use a room for whatever you want there's a light up here should be wired for fan and light lots and lots of outlets they put extras up here as well on the ones that are right next to each other so you're able to stream um, shows looks like this is gonna be I don't know those look like the blue boxes on either side of the windows those might be for speakers for them to be that high up they gotta be speakers again I gotta reference the plan because you got two on this back wall as well so and then more outlets along the bottom lots and lots of outlets and there's another one over there and one under the window cool awesome coming out we have this open living space again flex space whatever you want it to be there are more outlets on either side of the windows you have a storage closet here with the light switch on the outside it's actually a good sized closet you'll be able to walk into it uh, more outlets along the wall there I mean obviously there's really nowhere else to put outlets right so you got plenty along this wall behind me this light switch there's not a light up here so my guess is this light switch is going to work the light for this hallway here which is going to a secondary bedroom here's a full bath and let's see here you'll have a vanity here light up there there's an outlet and then the light switches will be right there as you come in um, and then the toilet will go there awesome you do have a um, electrical outlet in the hall coming into the secondary bedroom light switches on I mean electrical outlets on all the walls coming up that will be wired for a light and a fan 
um, going around, you have more electrical outlets. You have one on this little wall here. There, that double gray box is your light switch and it will um, operate the fan too. You'll have two switches, one for the fan, one for the light. Here's a light for the outside of the closet. Good size walk-in closet. Again, no plugs in the closet. We don't typically do that here in Texas. All right, we got two more bedrooms to go check out and another bathroom and we be done. Awesome sauce. Here's a light switch there. I know some of these boxes are blue, some are gray, but I mean, that's obviously gonna be a light switch and not a electrical outlet in the middle of the wall like that. There's an electrical outlet. So it looks like that is the only one for the hallway. So if you're plugging in your vacuum, that's where you're plugging it into. Light switch there. That will, um, these are the LED disc lights. So, and then that's your um, AC return. All right, here we go. Secondary bedroom number two. Yes, okay, I can count, woohoo. All right, so we've got an electrical outlet on this wall, one on that one. We've got two on this wall. Again, it will be wired for fan and a light. You've got double switches here. One will be for the light, one will be for the fan. This is a closet. Light switch is right inside. That silver tubing is your HVAC ductwork. Then you have a vanity. This is a true Jack and Jill bath, guys. So you have a vanity with a sink and you have a light up top. There will be a light, the gray box is the light, the blue box right there will be an outlet to plug in hair dryers and such. And then you've got the toilets there. There is a light switch here for the toilet. That's two, so the larger boxes, those are two. One will be for the light switch and the other will be for the fan. Continuing on through, you have the shared shower and tub. And there is a light up here. This, we're walking into the um, other bedroom here in a second, but this is just a linen closet right here. So that's really nice. Then we have a light switch. Coming through, you have the other vanity. And then the gray box is a light switch. The blue box is an outlet. And then you have another light switch here that will access the lights in the shared space. Awesome. And then the final bedroom, we have outlets on every wall, every six feet. It's a nice little bump out for the window. That's cool. More outlets. Outlet at the bottom. You have two switches here, one for the light, one for the fan, and then the closet. And then looking up, the closets do have lights, guys. So, um, okay. And then this will be wired for a fan and a light. Very nice. Awesome. All right, last thing we're gonna check out. These are cool little cutouts here. These are, those won't be windows, they're just cutouts to be able to look down. Uh, we're gonna go check out downstairs, the patio. This looks so good. I love Perry Homes. They do such a great job at building. And they really have some very thought out plans very practical, really no dead space. Every space has ample room and they're, just, they're so well thought out. Okay, patio time. This is an awesome sized patio. And very large. You have got so much room out here. You could have multiple sitting areas. Okay, so we've got multiple lights. You've got two here. You are going to be wired for a light and a fan here. And you have two more lights on this side. Lots and lots of lights. You've got electrical outlets there. Um, it looks like that's your only one out here. And then there will be a gas stub right behind me. Sorry. There's a gas stub there for your grill. And then of course your backyard. It's actually I mean, this is a 50 foot lot, guys. So this is actually um, 
a lot of room. So that, well, no, I was gonna say, so the orange fence is your property line, right? But where this fence is at the corner, your fence will pick up there and just go straight across. So you will lose some of your side yard as far as, you know, I mean, that would be great if you could just put the fence to the to the edge of the curb there, but they gotta have a walkway, so sidewalk. But that looks really, really good. This This yard is perfect size for a pool, guys. Awesome, it looks really great. Um, one more thing I wanted to point out, all the windows along the back here, so this is your living room, and then your kitchen there in the corner, those are inoperable, meaning you cannot open them. Not a big deal, it's more for aesthetic purposes, but um, all the other windows in the house are operable. So the ones over here, you can see the dual pane, those are the bottom part will raise up. Okay guys, that wraps up the video this week. That was a lot of information. Um, if you still feel like you wanna do the walkthrough, I can happily go grab Jordan. He's the awesome sales guy here in Mustang Lakes for Perry Homes, and we can walk this with you over FaceTime. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Nicole Roan. I work with Living Well Properties, and I would love to be able to work with you on your next new construction job. So please give me a call, text, email, or you can schedule a Zoom meeting with me for the button below. Um, until next time, guys, take care and God bless.